Hello everyone, Pink Ponage here, and we have a get goods tips, three tips on how to get good for this month. Three tips to work on. Everything comes in threes. Number one, do not duel. Don't duel. This is a prime example of what you should not do. When I say do, I mean stand toe to toe with someone. I ended up with 12 health there. I was in major recovery mode after that. All I had to do was peek and work the hard cover, which is what I recommend you do. So do not do it. Even though I got lucky there and won, it was so close and the guy wasn't even using the right weapons. Okay, if he's using a sword, a DT, I would have been dead. Do not do it. Do not stand toe to toe against another player. Play smarter than that. Don't force yourself yeah, into there. a position three, where three, if you miss two. a shot, you're going to die. Like here, I know he's got a sword, so I'm waiting for my teammate to come in and oh bait. And I come out, get some good damage. I know he has a sword, so I'm not going to charge in there and duel him up close. I'm going to what? I'm going to fly around, out maneuver, work the cover, and get into a more advantage advantageous position for myself. Oh, okay, work the hard Give cover. This is an example from just a public here. game while he's playing right solo. All right. <laughs> Right. Again, rule number one, do one right not duel. I'm going to keep saying that because I see it too often in comp and even in public games, uh, obviously. Now, this clip is from a pro scrim, diamond level scrims, against the best angler. players in the world. And it's it shows like right a here, prime really example hurt. of what you want to do. Always be working the hard cover. Uh, you don't get a lot of build a lot of the time in competitive Shit, games. So you really have to work the hard cover. Uh, and so you'll see that I don't hold a peak for more than a few seconds. I'm constantly moving positions, move holding forward. different peaks, Slicks trying down. to get different angles to make myself in a more oh, yeah. advantageous position. Oh, make sure you have a good peak weapon that you can shoot effectively at the distance you are at. And just keep working the hard cover. Don't panic. Yep, Wait, work it. Okay, I made it to another hard cover. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Took some shield, went back to hard cover again. My team is what? Healing up behind a hard cover while peeking, okay? They can't charge us here because we can simply just peek over and fire, all right? Yep, I know. Hold the hard cover, peek the hard cover. If they charge you, peek it and just shoot them. It's free damage at that point. Build up, work cover again, peek again, okay? And this is where, uh, uh, this is really a prime example of how you should play. Whoa! Uh, always. I, I know go, it, it's boys. a lot of effort. Uh, it's slower in public games, but oh god, <laughs> is it worth it? Because Let's it's go. safer. Ten you're going to be guaranteed a better fight. Alright, so this is an example from Go Comp, uh, Game Over Competitive uh, Comp, oh, and uh, I just got oh, rezzed. Nice. My team's oh, down, and I clutch essentially yeah, a 1v3 here. Uh, I, I, what am I doing? I don't have much. I'm peeking. I have very little ammo. I only got what I could pick up really quickly, frantically. They're fully looted. What do I do? I don't duel here because I know I'm going to die. I, only, I don't have full health. I peek, come back, work the hard cover. I know he has matador, so I'm trying to keep distance. Poking, peeking, working the hard cover. Look there. I don't depend on the soft cover too much until I know I have him. Okay, right here. I know I only need two shots or one. Boom, hit it. Oh no, now I have to duel, and nice. there's just no, you know, no getting around the duel there. But look how close it was when I had to duel. Okay, I don't like dueling if I don't have to. Right, put yourself in a position to not duel. Work the hard cover, peak, work the high ground versus the low ground. Work the positioning, work the angles. Uh, don't just go face to face with someone unless you have like a valve index and Uzis because then you're likely to win because you're likely to see them faster and you know hit your shots better when you got the high quality PC just you know but don't don't do it don't rely on that kind of stuff all right the reason why I like this game is because yes hardware does make you a better player but if your play style is safer and more conservative and calculated and careful then you can play on uh you know standalone quest and still compete with the best in the world my teammates play on quest 2 standalone they're the only ones at our level who do so okay play smart work the hard cover peak don't duel i keep saying it but i see it too often all right all right, we're gonna go over this piece of the clip again because I don't think everyone caught what happened here. How I won this when I had little to no health, resources, and uh, not much of anything is I utilize Peeker's Advantage. If you don't know what that is, I have a whole YouTube video for it. Essentially, every time I poke out to look at the person, I'm only visible to them for like a split second look in and out. And since 
I'm the one peeking on him, and I have a valve index. I guarantee, you know, I didn't see him for long, like not even a second. I guarantee he didn't even see me uh, because of how Peeker's advantage works. And I did this every single time. You know, what did I do? I go out as fast as I can, as and I move to Peek where I where I know he is. I'm gonna move very quick. You're gonna see shoot over where I guess he is because I'm really trying to do this as fast as I can. I'm even kind of pre-firing here. I missed. If the build wasn't there, I wouldn't have. And I do it again, right? I'm back behind hard cover again. And what do I do here? I even play soft cover and I peek really quick and up, fire, and then I'm back down again. Look, I didn't even expect to kill him. Now. What did I do? I peek up, shoot, look down. I don't even see if I hit the target. What I'm doing is I'm literally just peeking out for a fraction of a second to just make sure that I know I can hit my target while kind of blind firing and pre-firing and praying I kill a target by doing so and that way they're not going to see me on their screen much if at all, okay? Watch my Peeker's Advantage video if you don't understand. By the way, this clip is a good example of why you should not duel. He had Matadors at a DT. How do you win? Don't go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, outplay. All right, so this next example is from PML. Uh, currently, the uh, best players in the world are in a temporary uh, tournament, and this They're is what PML is. Uh, we'll th what I'm going to show you here is uh, end zone, of, of yep. course, against best players in the world. I'm peeking Crack against one. oppers no, uh, and a massive it. damage. I'm not holding a peek for longer than a few seconds. I peek up, take my shots, come back down as fast as I can because I know they're going to be shooting at me. These people hit their headshots, and trust me when I say they do. Uh, we died earlier to some headshots. And so what am I doing? I'm peeking, yes, but I'm trying not to hold a peek too long, right? Because you get shot. Uh, I want to peek quickly, poke come back in but in this next two clips where i have a dt you're going to see me use peeker's advantage here every time i fight harmonica harmonica i know bill all right we're stacking up we know there's two squads we know someone's coming through the back door here the back window what am i going to do i'm going to pre-fire and i'm going to come around this corner as fast as i can here get the two shots off and come back behind okay so how do you do this you fly around the corner as quick as possible Take your shots and come back. Okay, get ready mentally to fire as well so your brain reacts a little faster. Come back around the cover, rinse and repeat, okay? But you have to move quickly around the corner. I do the same thing in this next clip. All right, I come around the corner. Even though he died, what did I do? I flew as fast as I could and fired. If he didn't die, he would have. Just remember that when you're fighting, particularly in the close range fights, you need to utilize Peeker's advantage. In a game, a first person shooter game, this is the biggest concept or tactic that the pros utilize when they play at a high level. This last tip is going to be quick and simple. Use close quarter weapons in close quarters. For the love of God, I see this not being done too often in lower division comp and even in squad teams. Can use close quarter weapons. The reason why they're so amazing is because of how much burst they have in their time to kill and how easy it is to aim them in close range, okay? Matadors, swords, and DTs, not particularly in that order, are the best killing weapons in close range. This clip was from Mixed Doubles Ice Tier, the highest tier. This clip is from PML. I'm using a sword, and I'm also utilizing Peeker's advantage here. Remember, this clip is against the best players in the world. Whenever you're playing, you want to utilize every advantage as possible. Remember, use your close quarters weapons and utilize your Peeker's advantage. Swords, the better weapon. Up face, close encounters. Of course, DT and M10 and Matadors, right? They're, they need a little more range, right? Use the weapon how they should be fit, but for the love of God, again, please use a close quarters weapon in close quarters. So how should you utilize these tips in game? Well, in the waiting lobby, you should memorize these three things and say them to yourself before the game. Do not duel. Use close quarters weapons and utilize speaker's advantage. Say that three times Traded. to yourself Hell in the yeah. waiting lobby before every game, and I promise you, you'll do better if you're actually trying to incorporate that into your gameplay, okay? Thank you for watching. We'll do these every month.